morning dog my dog has been scratching for over a year scratching over here licking the paws every time she licked the paws and here you see the dark and then the armpits and also the belly so, it's okay it's a baby it's okay baby it's okay baby so here and over here also sometimes it's red um, I've been to many vets already and they give anti-itch medications and everything. When I stop, the, my dog is scratching and scratching again. So what do you advise dog? This is the Be Kind to Vet veterinary educational video for allergy tests in dogs and cats. The name of the allergy test is Spectrum Vet Spot Allergy Test. So, uh, in dogs and cats, the itchy uh, could be due to the environmental problem, the food allergy, and the other one is the external parasites like ticks and fleas problem. In this allergy test, um, you can see everything inside the allergy test. Like this, the grasses, weed, trees, fungus, abdomen, these are the environmental allergies. And then you also can see the uh, most of the food that you give to the dogs and cats, this is called the food allergy. And then the other one, like that, the indoor insects, fleas, meaning the allergies to the external parasites. So in this allergy test, show all of the uh, most of the allergies that can cause to the dogs and cats. And the allergy test for the procedures of the allergy test. We need to collect the blood first, about 5 ml of the blood in the plain tube we took from the dog. And then, uh, <coughs> this is the blood tube and syringe. We collect the blood from the dog. After collection, we send the blood to the URC to do the testings of the allergies and it will take about 3 to 4 weeks. After three to four weeks later, the allergy test came out in the report. So that in the report, they shows the dog is allergic to which ones and not allergic to which ones. <coughs> After that, if the dog is most of the allergy is due to the food, uh, uh, you can follow the recommendation the food. To avoid the food, yeah. yeah. But if the allergy is due to the environment, uh, you can do the allergy shots, injections. Wait, what's the cost? For the, for the allergy, blood test. the cost for the allergy test is 500. Mm, the, the other test? The and for the allergy shot, it depends on how many shots uh, you want. Mostly is uh, you need to do the first 9 months shot and it's called uh, one shot is around 300. After the 9 months, you can reduce the amount of the injections. Okay, so we see one report from one, one doc. Okay. okay, this one is the uh, allergy report for all the dog that we send to the uh, allergy test. Okay. So the red bowsers means uh, the dog has allergy to this thing. And the Environmental, um, what yeah. allergy is that? The first one? Uh, the first one is grazes. No, I mean the Bermuda is... Bermuda grass. Bermuda, Bermuda grass. and Timothy grass. Yeah, Timothy grass. Okay, some more further down. Uh, the the other wheat. one is the wheat. Sage. Seeds. Cigar mm, and fish. then the uh, English plantain, marsh, marsh elder, elder, and water ham. water ham. Okay, look at the food. Uh, the food one. For the food one, mm. uh, he's allergic to the beef. Mm. How's uh, beef, beef? Okay. And then pork, mm. meat, venison, milk. Milk, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the corn. Uh, corn, so you can't take yeah. it. Taki. Mm. Pumpkin, mm. barley, yeah. fix mix, mm, fish, okay. duck. duck, okay. Yeah. So cannot feed these things to the dog. Mm, that means the dog food should not contain this, uh, the dry dog food or the wet, yeah. the canned dog food. So the dog is actually allergic to many food. Uh, the, the meat, uh, the beef, uh. chicken. Uh? Chicken not allergic. So chicken is okay, rabbit is okay, rabbit okay. venison, the deer, is, uh, egg is okay. okay. So, so, beef, hmm. okay. so you have to find the food which does not have beef, pork. How about lamb? Uh, lamb is lamb okay. Lamb is okay. So you can buy the lamb-based diet. 
then the dog should be fully uh, free from itchiness. Okay, but then there are other other things. Uh, other thing is the environment the allergy. Uh, the house dust, the, the dust mites. Dust mites. He's allergic to the dust mites. Mm. One of them. Uh. Yeah. Then uh, the other insects. Uh, mouse abitama. He is allergic to the mouse abitama. Mosquito. Yeah, and then he's and allergic to the mosquito. Mm -hmm. And then he also allergic the to the yeast. Malaria. Then how about the indoor? Our uh, indoor. He's Kapok. allergic to the kapok. And oris root. Oris root. Okay. So we cover the environment now. Environment with the few trees also, right? Yeah, a few trees. Should not go near those trees, huh? Privet, mm. eucalyptus, oak, oak mm. okay. and sycamore. Okay, okay. So that that is that is the conclusion of the test, okay. which we are going to uh, advise for your dog. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Nothing. Yeah. So only after when the test is done, then we can yes, advise you on the on the type of dog food to to feed okay. or not to feed uh, okay. and then if the environmental then you have to avoid those uh, those uh, stated in the report mm -hmm. okay what else you want to know uh, uh, so that another way is of course before we do the blood test we can do a food elimination test okay. uh, which you take a specific dog food for mm -hmm. three months mm -hmm. uh, anti-allergic dog food and uh, if the dog is not allergic to it, then uh, you continue with the anti-allergy dog food. Yes, sir. But uh, it's up to you to choose, huh? mm -hmm. okay. or to avoid the environmental yes, uh, the factors. Video. Yeah, but we can't tell you which one to avoid. Yes, sir. Okay, this is the end of the video. Uh, this video is about blood tests for uh, allergy blood allergies for dogs and cats using the spot. Spectrum vet test.